Hello guys, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to the channel. Well, tell them why. Because we do remarkable things here. <laughs> We're rather marvellous. Yeah, we are kind of, well, I don't know We're about that. Fabulous. Well, we do movie reviews, yeah. we do television reviews. And in fact, we've had a few series already landing this year. We do uh, food, we do a vlog, which is like a reality show. What else do we do? We Gardening. do morning live every day for yeah. about half an hour. We do news chat giggles and guns. Absolutely. And we even guns. do a relationship podcast. So there's all sorts guns. of... Did you say guns? I meant to say guns, not guns. You're spoonerising a lot today, aren't you? Um, this is a trailer for the sixth and final season of Peaky Blinders. What is going to happen to Killian Murphy? What is going to happen? Um, of course, there's a poignancy to this mm. series because Helen McCrory is going to be conspicuous by her absence because she. How long has she been? I still. Was it? I, still can't quite get I am still it. in shock yeah. that she's gone. I'm still in shock. Yeah. In fact, I was thinking about her just this morning. We're huge fans of Helen yeah. McCrory. And I was thinking about the last time that I saw her on screen and I was actually at Loose Women in my dressing room mm. and she came up on the television being interviewed on Lorraine. Right. And I turned to... Oh, I remember seeing I that, turned yeah. to Linda and I said, she looks like she's got... Can't, she just looked like she had... Can't, mm. And she could, her voice was very croaky and it was actually Christine Lampard who was interviewing her and she said, oh, is your throat all right there? You know, just... Mm. She said, oh... Teenagers, you know, oh, shouting yeah. at them, I and I so was just, sad. and I, and I, you just, you know, that was the way she wanted to do it, wasn't it? And then mm. I think it was a week later she died, and mm. and we really got to know her on Peaky Blinders, didn't we? Because we are massive fans of Peaky Blinders. I, I just, and so. Though I'm so excited about seeing this, I'm a little nervous about how I'm going to feel with her. Yeah, and me. Killian Murphy's talked about how What's just he, he can't even begin to describe what it was like on the set. Pain. He had the strongest bond with her on set and, yeah, grief-stricken, grief-stricken. I mean... I, I re interviewed her years ago and she is... She was just one of those, what I call, electric people. Mm. Not Not traditionally beautiful or movie star, but doesn't matter who else was in that room, you were going to be looking at her. She was just, she had these burning, bright, mm. intelligent eyes. So mischievous. There was somebody on her just before her interview who was taking up the time of her interview. <laughs> you could see. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, she was oh, so, funny. yeah, it was so funny. So Aww. I can't imagine the gaping hole because I think she was probably really one of those actors, actors. Absolutely. Probably the kind of actress that came in with bread she might have made or, yes. you know, was there a listening ear for the young kids, would tell somebody who's being an arse that they're an arse. So mm. it must, yeah, they must have felt it very keenly. Mm. Yeah. So oh, as poor a husband and children. Oh God, don't, don't. How can you have someone that's so bright? Burns so just, bright. Go. Mm, absolutely. Um, so this is the final trailer for the final series. So shall we watch it? The bodies and the rhythm. To survive. This will be the end of it. Take a good look, Tom. Because one of us isn't going to be here for long. One last deal to be done. Goosebumped. <laughs> Goosebumped on your goosebumps. I'm goosty goosebumps. Stephen Graham in there. I mean, oh I've often been wondering God, why I'm hasn't he turned up? Favorite ever actors. Anya Taylor Joy. 
I don't know, that was her, wasn't it? I yeah, questioned it my own eyes. She, she had a very small part, I think, in the last season or the season before. Uh, and was that, is that the Americans coming? Is that the mafia from America coming on that boat? Yeah. I think so it is. So what did we see there? What can we pick up there? Well, an awful lot of violence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I that think... music, the way they, the lighting mark of that sh Oh, that it's series. beautiful. And the camera work. And, yeah. and it's just, it's everything you Styling, want from everything, a drama. Everything about it. You are in there. You believe it. They're living it. Yeah. Nobody's acting. Everyone's being... Oh my god! And it's one of those series that that is a, a sort of whole step above the sort of general drama you get in this country. The it, budget it's, drama, it, we yeah, call it. Budget drama. This is this is big budget drama. This is so classy. This yeah. is this is this makes you proud to be British kind of drama. Wow! This is what we used to be known god. for. I, should, I think I should play Rule Brit Britannia. Should we start hum it? Royal. No, no, I don't like Royal. No, I don't. Let's not. The other one. No, I don't want to do it. It's too nationalistic and horrendous. <laughs> uh, no, but you know what I mean. This is we were known for many years, weren't we? And then, of course, Netflix came and all these genius yeah, yeah, companies yeah. that kind of have brushed a lot of what we do to one side. But this is pure class. And let's not forget, they're Brummies. Yeah. They're Brummies. Yeah. 